In the new funding model, about 12% of the students are in band one. Band one are straight children who are orphans. All of them, without exception, go to band one. Children who are associated with disability, all of them go to band one. Children whose parents are on cash transfer because they are classified as vulnerable, all of them go to band one. And students whose parents earn below 6,000 shillings a month. All those students go to band one. And this band one, we changed it slightly. Everybody used to get 80% scholarship and loan. We decided that for these kids, we raise it, that we raise it to 95%, from 80 to 95% they get loan and scholarship. 70% scholarship, 25% uh, loan, and only 5% their parents pay. And that is roughly maybe something below 5,000 shillings a semester. And it is because they truly need our help. Band two are the next, whose parents earn below 25,000 shillings. They get 80% um, scholarship, sorry, and 10% loan, and the household pays 10%. Number three, they get 80% scholarship, 10% they pay, loan, and 10% household they pay. These are the three most important because they affect the vulnerable. The others, band four and band five, these are the people whose parents earn up to 70,000 are in band four, and in band five, the people whose parents earn beyond 70,000. So, the assessments are being done by a means testing instrument. They are not an arbitrary figure a means testing instrument that has been in operation since 1996. I don't know whether the people from Higher Education Loans Board are here. When did the means testing instrument uh, come into? Is it 91 or 96? 90? 1996. That means testing instrument has been there since 1986 and it has parameters from a multi-agency approach. We have parameters from Kenya Revenue Authority. We have parameters from Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. We have parameters from NIMS, which is the um, education portal for registration of, uh, of persons. We have statistics from um, our ecosystem that serves the registration of the vulnerable in the Ministry of Labor and many other variables that are put together. It is as objective as it can and it keeps, we keep improving on it to make sure that it assesses our children correctly. There's been cases legitimate cases of some students who have been placed 
in the wrong band. And sometimes it's because of the information that has been supplied. And there is an opportunity for a parent or a student, if they are banded in a band that they don't think they belong, there is an appeals process. Overall, is a process that has been tested, is a process that has worked, and we want to use it to take our education to the next level.